Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Where Ships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a very nice grape soda, also highly carbonated and has about 200% of daily sugar content because imported goods. So welcome to A Ship Conquer the Skies and previously we were once again doing some designing and fighting and messing around with some airships. Specifically, we uh, yeah we were doing the, uh, the sort of baubles of doom, beaks of doom and well, the, the, the Rari is the best thing we can really say. This time we're going to take a a bit of a different approach and we're going to do a bit of a land ship uh, build here and specifically if we go to open design we've got a couple of really really useful vessels so the elk is amazing it's just for the cost it's got a lot of firepower it's got a lot of security and it's got a lot of armor it's pretty good the fox again is pretty good as well for its cost it's just got this big suspendium rear on the front the llama is a drama llama, it doesn't really do much at all other than whine. Speaking of whining, we have a pig which is also absolutely terrible and we have the rhino which was the experimental suspendium disruptor just try and take out some stuff and yeah it is exceptional against very very big opponents. However, there's one thing that we really don't have and that's a ground ship in order to take out uh, some structures but the problem with that is you really only have a couple of options because of how cheap the the standing structures are, you have to either long range bombard them, in which case, yeah, you just have to not receive their shots, or um, when aerial torpedoes, I guess we've, we've got one of those, or you have to sort of rush it and deal with it that way. We're going to go with the latter approach and the long range approach by using an acid spitter and most likely an externally launched aerial torpedo. Now, the aerial torpedo, it's a one use thing, but it's only, it's very cheap, 38. So you basically just, you put that on there, you can even put it on the top, which is probably where we'll place it. We'll just place it there and we'll we'll yeet that at the opponent. Um, but the, uh, the acid spitter, it says requires acid brewing, so something you can only get in the free pale mode or as part of, I don't know if it's an event or whether you have to destroy a certain thing in the conquest mode. Um, it's anyway, it's a powerful acid extracted from the glands of horrifying creatures capable of eating through even the strongest of armour in time. It's 10 blast damage, 8 meters splash, and direct damage is 30, so basically it's... Uh, it's just something you get very close, 85 meters, and just hit the opponent hard with it. So we're going to place one of these on a fairly fast, a fairly fast thing. Uh, in terms of propulsion, we do have lots of options. We could go with. Well, that's far too big. Obviously, you have most likely checked out the thumbnail, so you know more where this build's gone than I have at this stage. I just know I want to use these two weapons. I'm tempted with spider legs, but that's, again, too expensive. That's good grief. That's expensive already. Um, Trax is good, but, again, it's low speed. Uh, what's the speed at the moment? 228. But also, you're not going to be able to get over sort of big hills. So, probably small legs. Small legs would be... Small legs would be sufficient. Yes, it would. Um, also, I've just thought as well, can we can we have for this here, weapons-wise, if we go down to the aerial torpedoes, can we place one under and over? We can place them under and over. Interesting. That could be <laughs> the way to go. Anyway, let's go ahead and place in a couple of things. So obviously we can't give commands, we don't have any ammo. Let's sort all of that out. So over to resources here and to the coal store. It's going to be a small coal store and indeed a small ammo store, which will go in here. We then have to have a way to crew it. It says minimum crew of three, but that will increase based on our, well, we're going to have a cockpit on here. And a crewman bunks will go there. We need minimum crew of four. We need more supply hatches and insufficient crew. Uh, it's recommended to have eight crew. But frankly, I think that, followed by, if we check out a steel supply hatch, that would be sufficient. Once again, we have made a brick. However, it will work. Well, I say work. It'll move forward. Speed is 265 kilometers. Crew is fine. Armor is wooden armor. How much would steel armor be? Steel armor would reduce its speed, but not to a silly amount, but that would give us a 363 cost, whereas the wooden armor is 321. Most likely, 
we will be versing things with cannons. So cannons, if we check out that, cannon, is a piercing damage of 48. So it's piercing damage. Whereas wooden wall has piercing, absorbs 4. Steel armor absorbs 6. And indeed some blast damage. The reinforced wood armor, no. The steel wall would absorb... Mm, 50 HP, steel wall is 36, it's 5 blast 3 piercing, 2 blast 4 piercing, so it's not as good as wooden armour. The steel armour though, absorbs 6 piercing damage, and has the same HP. I think I'm going to stick with the wooden armour, and make this like a relatively cheap option. So in that case... Let's go with resources then. We're going to rip off that and we're going to put a wooden supply hatch in. I realize I can't put out fires, which is something is that's not that's, that's not a good sentence. <laughs> that's not a sentence you really want to say. I cannot put out fires. Do we want to put a fire extinguisher in? Yes, we sort of do, which is going to go on the back there. That will also give us a nice little extra bit to... Let me just check pathing here. Pathing is fine. Okay. Do I want to pull these back a bit as well? Will that look better? I actually like the front-loaded approach. <laughs> right. Let's put on the back then some solid shapes. And we could put on some rounded corners. Let's see what that looks like. It's pretty good. We could have these corners... Which is a bit different. Or we could have the sloped corners like that. Mm, actually quite like that one. Okay. We're going to have this as the, the bullfrog. Save design. Save that up. And let's see what it is like. Over to combat. Uh, day fight. Add in a building. The building we're going to put in is going to be... Defensive structure 17. I'm going to place at the back, naturally, where it would go. We'll add in our land ship. And we'll put in the bullfrog. And we'll start the fight. So the legs will hopefully allow us to go up and over these trees without great issue. Uh, as soon as we start, we will launch the weapons. Uh, I'll press that launch button. Actually, when I get a little bit closer. Naturally, the commands that we can give to the ship are... Well, it's uh, <laughs> there's not many of them. There's launch. Let's so launch away. And, oh, right. <laughs> hmm, that, that, yeah, that was disarmed. Oh, that was, that was, that was very effectively disarmed. Okay, building. Let's go for a bit more expense. Silent washer goes in. And for our airship, obviously, we're going to go with... Sorry, not airship, the land ship. We're going to go with the bullfrog. All right, we're fairly evenly points match. 670 as opposed to 684. So what's the difference in that? Uh, 14? Yeah, no big dramas there. And I think the main obstacle will be a physical one in terms of this bit of a steep cliff followed by all of these trees on the opposite edge. Let's see how we get on. Let's just click start here and again over to, with the front one, I'm going to say ram and then ram to there. So we can still launch even if we get to that point. I'm just waiting for it to go through the trees, which we've managed yet. That's fine. Then that one to there, and then let's see <laughs> about the launch options. So there's a launch there. So we've got uh, the rockets away there, and very good hits. Because we're launching them very close to the target. Oh, good grief. Uh, yeah, we've crashed into the back of that. That's a thing. Because uh, we're launching them very close to the target. We have this almost shock and awe type of, like, approach where, yep, I've destroyed the back of this one, and that's, um, that's all on me. So... Whoops, okay, pilot error, but that is still a Vic and a Terry together. Let's try another fight here. Let's try a bit of a Dawn fight, and we're going to gain up the points just a little bit. We're going to go with the Orc here, which is 860. Again, placing that right at the back where it normally would be. Over to our land ships and the Bullfrog, and we're going to go with one, two, three. 
that would make us over pointed so let's try being well under pointed so 670 is opposed to 860 so what 190 points difference yeah let's go ahead and go ram to there this one give it just a beat and then ram to there for now uh, obviously we will have to get a little bit closer but i need this to i need this to launch so launch away this one will launch away so there is four of the rockets out at very close range which has actually ah, uh, that's really really that's inopportune moment to lose lose a bridge there i'm gonna have to ram further forward and push this vessel further forward just so we can get within range although all that's happened there is it's um it's it's cancelled our <laughs> it's cancelled the front of the <laughs> Oh, good grief. Yeah, it, it's destroyed that there. <laughs> and I can't, I can't um, cancel the order for this one to move. Ah, oh, well. Anyway, so we, we've still got two weapons firing out. Uh, they have, it appears anyway, only the top weapons firing. So you can see the, the acid there. There's the acid hitting, and it does a fairly decent amount of damage. Um, I can't really issue any commands. Uh, this one can go for rapid fire. And that one, we can't do anything because obviously it's not under command. And we're only just in range. Obviously, the bottom weapons, by the look of it, are... Well, they're not serviceable. Fire is spreading. There must be no ammo there. Speaking of ammo, we may be running out of ammo as well. Oh, we got loads of ammo, actually. <laughs> um, let's just speed up to max speed. And eventually, I was going to say, that's going to Death Star itself. It's just going to collapse in on itself. And that's a win. Okay, both of these classes are mobile. I don't agree. That one's certainly able to move, but it is a victory. So that's three for three. Let's go for another fight. Let's go for a building. The bamboo is an expensive building, and it's a bit of a naughty building as well. Or at least it can be. It's just full of rifles, which against fairly poorly armoured opponents is uh, could be a problem. Anyway, let's try the bullfrog once again. So one, two, three, four. We're overpointed. Let's underpoint ourselves. So a thousand and five is about one thousand two hundred and fifty-two. Start the fight. The front one ram. We're going to ram it to there. A bit further forward this time. The other one again ram. Ram to there. The other one ram and ram to there. It doesn't really matter. So waiting on the launch options and activate single-use weapons. Launch, launch, launch. And there it goes. So good hits. Immediately good hits. This one launch. Launch. That's close enough. This one's going to ram further forward. This one will do a similar thing. Um, Arc of Fire might be a problem, actually. Although, what most likely will happen is... Ah, uh, oh, did you add that one back over? It was supposed to be the other way. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to say, what will happen is the bottom will collapse. And then it's going to drop the tower down. <laughs> Let's just move forward there. This one's also going to have to move forward. But I don't think we're in range of either. For the, uh, for the back one. No, I don't think so. So we've only got one thing firing, which is this. So I'm going to say ram to there. It also says we've still got a weapon in place, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, right, now we can get in range. There we go. So we've completely broken the other one, and then that's also removed the weapon from there. Yeah, this is a loss, I think. And that's only a loss basically because of, again, pilot error. I should have moved that. Right, let's try that again. Let's go ahead and we'll say a building and the mm, the bamboo, which it does have its uses, <laughs> albeit limited. That goes in there. We'll go for the land ship, bullfrog. One, two, three. Start the fight. Bullfrog will ram to there. The other one will ram to there. The other one will ram to there. It doesn't really matter. So getting close, we will initiate single-use weapons about now this one now this one now okay launched so the front one we want to ram right far forward the second one will ram further forward third one will ram i said i don't know why we use i always use ram it's because i think if there's trees in the way they often give up and they just don't want to be dealing with all of this this thing's about to lose its weapon so i'm going to literally use it as a battering ram to Oh, I said ram to there, but it's stopped. It has ceased to do anything. Interesting. Interesting. Um, it will not move. Brace for impact. It will not move at all. Are we out of crew? 
We've got crew. We've got call. I don't know why it won't move. Also, is the back one not firing? There we go. But I think we've lost again. I just think that this bamboo, it's it's perfect for, for this, which is lightly, lightly armoured opponents. Hmm, that's a fail. Okay, let's try then. Let's try maybe one more fight. Overcast day there. Add in the building. Let's go with the orc. One, two of those. And maybe a black citadel. How much is that? 2,205. Land chip. Bullfrog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Too expensive. 2010 versus 2205. Start the fight. All of these will ram. Ooh, I'm not looking forward to this in case something goes wrong, but whatever. Let's go, go, go. And I don't know what they're going to fire against when I press this launch button. But I might do it individually. So, fire the first. Fire the second. Sack it. It's impressive. Fire the lot. There we go. There's the fire. <laughs> and they're going to go for the middle one by the look of it. That's fair enough. Um, oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, and we've been absolutely screwed over. So, what's happened is... Um, one of them here got to a point where it's it's collapsed on itself. The legs can't support it. <laughs> Luckily, we can walk over the top. Uh, we've completely destroyed one of them. Absolutely annihilated them. But, yeah, we keep losing motive power. And because these acid throws are such short range, so short range, I think that's going to be a loss again. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they're gone. Hmm. Not ideal. Not ideal. Let's uh, try one more fight. We're going to go with a land ship. The elk. At the back. And our bullfrogs. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, I believe. Um, 3,015 versus 2,946. Close as we're going to get. So all of these, again, we're going to just bring him forward. Because they're going to do the same thing. And we need to get in range. Although we may have got a bit too close. I don't think we're going to be able to launch all of our weapons. We're not. But we will launch what we can. And there is... <laughs> Good grief. I'm fairly confident that at least two of those volleys that we've just launched, I'm fairly confident that at least two of those destroyed the front two of our uh, <laughs> of our things here as well. Oh, we've been hit by lightning. And we can't move it. And I think, with the best will in the world... Oh, it's a mobile. We might be able to win. I think we've won. Only just, though. I mean, the acid does do ridiculous damage. Yeah, I love getting hit by lightning three times. Can't get enough of that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's doing good damage. But the range is exceptionally poor. Is that another lightning strike on that? I think so. Um, yeah, so the takeaway is that the acid works. What, what what really makes these things, though, is those single launched aerial torpedoes. That long range fire that you get with the aerial torpedoes is still there, but charging forward and then just completely sending it works and you don't have to worry about these exploding because they've already been launched and they're very cheap at 34 each obviously you only get one shot but the amount of damage you cause means that you, that extra money you would have maybe used by armoring it up or whatever yeah i think i think they're very cost effective but bit of a mixed bag in terms of performance the aerial torpedo and the acid spitter 
They don't not work because we're charging forward, launching these, and then dealing with the acid. But these en masse don't work because they get destroyed, then you can't get past one another, and everything just gets... Yeah, everything gets uh, sort of blocked up. So, I'm tempted to take the acid spitter off, and instead... We wouldn't use a ballista. What would we use? I think rockets. Rockets have a maximum accurate range of 320 meters. Take the acid off and put the rockets on. And that makes them considerably cheaper. 245 as opposed to... Where's the acid spitter? 335. Wow. So... That's a huge saving. It's almost like 100 off. I'm going to save that. Because I think that's just going to be better. Same armour. Yeah. That's been with Airships Conquer the Skies and the Bullfrog. Started with Acid. Aerial Torpedoes became the <laughs> the headline act of this one. And I think with them rockets... Yeah. Obviously, they explode easily. I think they're less, hel less health. Bigger blast damage with good splash distance, though. Um, and better range so that when we field them on massive... Well, four more, basically. At least the ones that I can keep firing. So, I've saved it, thinking that's going to be a better idea. I don't know if it is, because we haven't tried it. If you want to see that, by all means let me know. If you have any tip suggestions for this build, then let me know in the comments, as well as ideas you may have for future builds, different challenges. We'd love to hear all that. And, if nothing else, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.